and just just like massage it for a couple seconds. There you go. And then I, I want like you to really, spank yeah. it. Spank it like that. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Again. Yeah. Hi everybody. Welcome back to another special episode of Gary's Kitchen. Today, uh, for Hannah Brain, we have a special guest. What's up? My name is Domo. You guys might know me from my VTuber interviews, and of course, we have the lovely. Uh, Giri here with us and she's gonna be doing all the cooking so uh, hope you guys stick around for the rest of the video and I'll see you guys soon So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start peeling the I see you get a peeler nice mm -hmm. and ready So we're gonna start mm -hmm. peeling some potatoes What the how are I'm you gonna... so fast? What the how slow do you peel your potatoes? What the I don't know you're all, like you're done already though. What the hell? What are you talking I don't even have time about to think about the next step. Is this how you like shave your legs too, Giri? Like you're just oh like bop, 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 like yeah. Are, you, are you kidding? 100%. I see my target. I zoom in on that target and I go like shing, straight and true. Do you have a some sort of pot? I have a tiny pot. Yes. All right. Pot in the stove. That's ready. We're going to put some water in there. Like fill it to the bottom water. sort of just to boil the potatoes. Just the whole potato inside. Yeah. Or... Uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna slice them up to uh, okay. we're just we're gonna like not dice them, but like chunk, you know, slice them into nice chunks blocks and how how big would you prefer the blocks my dear domo keep chopping keep chopping away and i'll <laughs> let you know how, how's this perfect yep that's exactly okay. how i usually cook them because i always cook this meal if you can put some salt in there as well i would say like a quarter tablespoon of salt this is on high right i have it on medium high just because the pot is smaller it does boil faster do you have like some sort of like oven for the asparagus or no does it have to be I like i do have an oven it's offset though but i can preheat it to a certain temperature first while we get things ready and then we can throw that into the oven let's heat it to god this i don't know if this is too much let's do 425 and then we'll preheat for about like five ish minutes and then we'll pop in the asparagus on like a well you'll come back okay all right give me one quick second your chat save me please i don't want to be here anymore Yo, i only have a few minutes before she comes back chat please please please, please chat. i can't even move my legs are shackled to this chair they trapped me here guys i don't want to be here no more man okay i'm back so how was the story huh how it was, was good yeah was it good yeah, it, was it was a good story I told a different story, actually, so I'm actually going to tell oh, the did you? story. Oh, okay. I have the asparagus. It's cut. It's ready. But how Beautiful. would you... Do you want seasoning? No seasoning? We're going to crack open a lemon. Just if you could split it in half and, you know, dazzle a little lemon juice. Not too, too much. So lemon juice is in. And what else would you prefer? We'll sprinkle some salt on first. A little bit. Just a few pinches. So I, I added salt. And what else would you prefer? I want to add some butter on there so you're gonna take the knife and then you're going to put it on the table and then you're going to grip the butter in your right hand and then you're gonna squeeze as hard as possible <laughs> i'm not very I'm strong, strong Tomo. <laughs> and you're gonna you're gonna like rub it around your hands like it's a bar of soap oh okay okay i'm gonna rub it okay there you go i'm washing i'm washing my and hands then oh yeah you're, you're gonna take the asparagus uh, in bundles and then you're just gonna the best way that I can describe it is, um, you know how like you take a pair of chopsticks from like a like wooden chopstick, you split open and you do a little like, you know, you do like one of those like roll it oh, in yes. your hands. The little twirly like that twirl, for, yeah. Yeah, the twirls. Yeah, you're going to do that for your asparagus. And then just give it a good rub down like this, yeah, there right? You go. Like, oh, and then, yeah. And then, like, there you like go. That, like, like all, all really, over like, really into the crevices. Some love, though. Yeah, 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 like into into the crevices right in here. And then just get it all over the place. Just give it a nice yeah. little twist. Is this satisfactory? Oh, beautiful. You like being all slimy and sticky for mommy? <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! And then into the oven for how long? Well, let's say like, we'll check on it in 20 minutes from now. So what should we do? We're going to drain some of this water. Okay. And then we're just going to mash it up in the pot. I was gonna ask though, did you want me to drain all the water or a little bit of the water or or is there a, like a preference? All the water. I have my potato masher. I have my warm, soft potatoes. Oh, uh, and then what's what's next? Well, you just go to town. Go to town and mash in some of these potatoes. Potatoes are mashed, but they're not seasoned. Beautiful. So did you want me to do anything with it or just leave it on the side um, for now? Let's do like less than a quarter teaspoon salt. And, and some butter. Oh god, this is where I'm gonna fuck up here. Let's do two. Enough. Let's do two. Like two two wads, basically. Two okay, healthy packs of butter. Let's do that for now and then just fucking mix it in. I'm mashing the potatoes. It's looking really fluffy though. Is there anything else you want me to add in it or are we good? 
Do you have any black pepper? Maybe just like a tiny little bit of that? I do. I actually have my bushy black pepper just for you as well. I have Man, my you brought up all the good shit today. Corn. Let's start working on the steak. So let's rip that bad boy open. But how would you prefer to let me do the steak? Let's get some peppercorn in there. You just gotta like okay. spread it on there. Do you happen to have some rosemary by chance or no? Actually, I do. Do you want thyme or rosemary or both? I have rosemary and thyme. Let's just do rosemary. This part is really important. Like we've been lathering on that butter, on the asparagus and, you know, showing that mashed potato some love. But mm -hmm. I really need you to like really show some love and care to your steak. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to your steak and then you're going to, you're going to whisper to it and just, just like massage it for a couple seconds. There you go. And then I, I want like you to really, spank yeah. it. Spank it like that. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Again. Yeah. What's the next step so I can plan? We are going to sprinkle in some peppercorn and then we're going to like rub it in a little bit. Some of okay. that expensive salt as well. Okay. What's the next step now? And then we're going to take some of the, the rosemary like leaves or whatever. And we're just going okay. to like rub it onto the steak on both sides. Okay. I've put the rosemary on now. Do you have, uh, mm -hmm. do you have olive oil by chance? I do. If you could like put a tiny bit on the pan, but not too much. And just uh, just heat the pan, just preheat the pan for a little bit. Are you looking for a specific temperature right now? I have it at medium high-ish, but should I do it high, medium? Yeah, medium high, medium high. And then should we do anything in the meantime or we're just gonna wait for the wa uh, the oil to heat up? Yeah, I think we're just gonna wait for the oil and then we're gonna set the steak on there. And then like almost midway, we're gonna add some butter in there. The oil is smoking now. Should I add in the butter? Uh, let's add in the steak first. Okay, steak is in. And this one is more of like a, a searing. So we're just gonna leave it on for, we'll just keep periodically checking on it. Uh, I like my steaks uh, like a medium, like a medium rare. Should we add the butter in or no? Oh yeah, shit, that's right actually. I fucking forgot. Yeah, the butter. <laughs> Don't worry, my, my, hand no, my, my brain knows what he's doing. Okay, chat, relax. Well, well it, it, it's fine, it's fine. He knows, it's he knows what he's it's calculated. doing, okay? And uh, I guess add the thyme in there as well. All right, Beautiful. what's next? Uh, we're going to start peeling some of these shrimps now. Do you want the head on? Um, nah, nah, nah. Let's take the head off. No. Then I'm just going to cut it. Oh. Yeah, Domo, teach me how to devein a shrimp, please. Or like clean, clean a shrimp in general. Yeah, of course. I'm going to put it down. You, um, you take out the veins and then, yeah, so go ahead. Go ahead and do oh, that, Yuri. Just, just take out the veins? Okay. Is there, is there the... any particular way you like to take out the veins or, you know, any particular technique you want to go with that you want to, like, teach us or whatever? Yeah, usually I just, like, take off the head and then, like, exactly what you're doing, like, scissors, like, from where the head was down to the tail, snap off mm -hmm. the tail and, like, peel it from the top of your cut and then, like, take out the legs last kind of thing. And then you have to take out the little, like the shrimp poop vein that's like in the, what is it, in the top? Yeah, it's on the top. So I basically use my cleaver to cut the head off. And then I'm just going with my knife and I'm going along the back of the shrimp. I'm only cutting the, the back open, basically. I'm not really cutting the meat, but if you cut the meat, it's not a big deal. And then if you open it, you should be able to see like a black vein thing. There it is. And then you basically find the vein, put your skewer through the vein, and then just gently lift. And then the whole vein just comes out like that. Okay, so we got our scrimps. Let's uh, marinate our shrimp. Not really marinate, but like base either. Just like soak our shrimp in our, in our seasoning and stuff. Maybe let's get a bowl together and put in some olive oil, some garlic, some pepper, and all that jazz. Like a little bit of olive oil some garlic i guess we should mince the garlic too as well how many would you say three cloves four cloves one clove let's do three is this big enough or would you prefer it smaller uh maybe a little bit smaller okay that's done and then what else um some pepper and here's the thing like i want to get some of that parsley in here let's chop some of that parsley up now and then we'll we'll toss it in and we'll kind of that'll be the last of it and we'll kind of like you know you'll kind of uh, lather it again. I've been marinating. I've been tossing. How does this look to you? That looks great. That looks great. And, and okay. So we're going to heat up the pan again in a bit. Um, we're going to toss same thing as the steak, some, but go a little heavier on the olive oil. And then we're going to toss some butter in there like midway, but also 
Um, do you happen to have white wine? I do. I actually brought it over. I've been using it for cooking recently, so I do have white hey, wine. I got you. Let's go. We're gonna like toss that in, like right before the butter. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it on to high heat, medium heat, low heat. Uh, let's do. I don't want to like burn it, so let's do medium. So the oil is getting quite warm. Should I add in the shrimp now? Yeah, let's do. It. So we're gonna do the shrimp first. Uh, do you want to toss in some wine now? Yes, yeah, a, sp a splasher. Oh yeah, That's nice. Fine. Yeah, that's good. That's solid. That's okay. solid. All right. Um, and then some butter as well. Don't be shy with the butter. Like we're gonna use it as like a base later. It's gonna be like a almost like a sauce. Six hours later. Tell me how it tastes, Oni Bro, and everything. Oni Bro, do you have like a overall verdict? So out of ten, it's pretty solid. Aside from like that's temperature. Hey, that's solid. I'm cold. taking that. You know, you know what I mean. That's like a that's like a B minus, C plus. And here we have the completed dish. It turned out really, really yummy. Domo, do you want to let them know what we made today in the end? Yeah, we uh, made a little surf and turf. We had some asparagus on the side for some color, some mashed potatoes, and some uh, garlic shrimp. And uh, of course, the uh, main part of the dish, the uh, medium rare uh, strip sirloin steak. And uh, there you have it. Yeah, it turned out really yummy. I hope you have fun. Um, and chat, I hope you enjoyed your stay as well. Yeah, I, I mean, thank you so much to Giri and to you guys for uh, having me over. Yeah, I mean, speaking of which, I actually, I brought a date if it's okay. Like, oh, yes. To bring it Ooh, a date. Okay. Oh, okay. We have, so we're cooking for, we're cooking for four today. Perfect, perfect. It's like a I little double date.